Okay, so about two and a half months ago, I chopped up these fish, put them in these buckets, and today I'm going to strain it. Right here, I have a total of what was 85 gallons of cut up fish. So, I should be able to get somewhere around 30 gallons of fish oil and I'm gonna double strain it make it to where I can spray it out of a bottle so uh, anyway I'm gonna get set up to do it and I'll show you all show you all that here in a little bit here's eggs here I've got going now there's uh, six dozen eggs in each one of those jars and those aren't quite ready yet they'll take a little bit more time to uh, ferment down and that'll be that'll be a good fox fox bait but we're working on the fish oil today so I've got a lot of work to do so we'll continue okay so here's here's the setup that is what it looks like it's about half full a little bit a little bit fuller than that and all that underneath it is the oil. The heads and stuff have floated to the top, parts of the fish. So what I'm going to do is I have this five gallon bucket here with a colander in it. I'm going to scoop that into that bucket and once I get enough strained then I'm going to restrain it one more time with the coffee filters here and then I'll put it into these gallon jugs to store it and uh, that way it'll be strained out enough to to be able to uh, go through a spray bottle so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that and I'll show you show you what it looks like after after I've got it through the through the filter and I'll keep what's left of the uh, the heads and the carcasses and whatever I chopped up and I'll save those still because those are perfect for bait in the bucket sets. So we're going to save everything. All right. Okay. So this is the next night, the following night. I strained everything through a big white colander there last night everything I had all 85 gallons worth of buckets and what I ended up with here are these basically five five and three quarter buckets full of strained liquid with the colander then I let them sit overnight and that stuff will separate again and what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take this this little strainer here and I'm going to skim all that off the top there that uh, that floated up to the top it's a thick kind of a paste I'll skim all that off throw it away or use it for else but. and then I'm going to take a very similar strainer to this just a little bit bigger one and I'm going to start straining that liquid in those buckets further once I strain that, then I'm going to strain it through cheesecloth. I believe I said uh, coffee filters last night. I didn't mean to. It won't go through coffee filters, but cheesecloth, it'll go through just fine. Now, once it goes through that cheesecloth, it'll become clear. This is a little bit that's, that's separated here. I don't know if you can see that liquid right there. Ah. Uh, once that's separated, it'll become clear, and then your fish oil is, is good to go. So, basically, we've had to strain it once with the colander, once with the little strainer, once with the cheesecloth to get it to where I can spray it out of a bottle. Now, I understand for most people this is going overboard, but I use a lot of the stuff, as you can see, and I like to have it in a spray bottle rather than just squirting it everywhere so 
out of those 85 gallons of fish that I had chopped up, I ended up with, um, we're going to call it, hell, 28 gallons, might as well say, of uh, fish oil. This is the first, first pressing because I did not press any of that meat. I just drained off what was in the top. I resaved it. And that, that oil will rise back up in a couple of days and I'll probably be able to get out of the remainder buckets, I'll probably be able to get another five gallons or so. But that's for another day. So, what we're going to do now is skim it off and strain it the first time. And uh, I'll do that and then I'll show you what happens after that. Alright. Okay. Hope this comes out. It's gotten really dark and had to get a light going. But anyway, I have now got all. 28 gallons of what I had uh, strained. This is what I ended up with. I ended up with 20, call it 23 gallons, but about a little over half full. 23 gallons of oil. I got almost five gallons there of uh, stuff that I just skimmed off. Now that will still produce oil. It's you can already see it starting. To, oil is starting to come up. But uh, as far as the mass producing of it goes, this is what I've got, 23 gallons. Now the only thing left in order to be able to put it through a spray bottle is I've got this bucket here set up with cheesecloth. And that's, I don't know, it's layered three different times, just comes off the roll like that. Put it around your bucket, tie it, pour that through. That right there is your final filtered fish oil that you can bottle, put through a sprayer everything so go ahead and do that I'll get back with you okay so we're done I run out of jugs but anyway there's 22 jugs there and then that full bucket there is five more gallons I just ran out of jugs so uh, Anyway, that's the, that's 20, what, 27 gallons that, uh, that I got out of that. And that, that right there is your finished product. 100% pure fish oil. So, anyway, that's the full process of, uh, making fish oil start to finish hope you enjoyed